to keep your cryptocurrency safe and secure it's very important so that's why we are doing today a review on ledger nano s cryptocurrency hard wallet uh, we will do the unboxing and uh, review on it and uh, uh, how to set it up so stay tuned Hi everyone, um, we are doing a re review today on the uh, cryptocurrency hard wallet uh, Ledger Nano S um, uh, which is uh, getting quite uh, popular lately and uh, everyone wants to uh, keep uh, your, your, their uh, cryptocurrency safe on, on cause, uh, what this device does it uh, keeps your uh, key files and it never leaves the the this USB stick drive uh, So nobody has access to your uh, key files and, and private keys so I got this uh, uh, From Le ledger nano s uh, website uh, a couple months ago and they seem quite busy and uh, they uh, send it out after only uh, one and a half months so there's a, a big uh, pre-order list so uh, yeah you don't uh, you don't want to lose your cryptocurrency you know by somebody hacking into uh, your computer or, or like uh, in your uh, uh, like uh, exchange account or something like that like there was a uh, situation there a week ago or something that uh, the guy uh, lost uh, 30 million of Ethereum where he was keeping them on uh, his party wallet so yeah so this is a much more safer option because your private keys the, is they are not available anywhere except if somebody isn't able to get access to your uh, Ledger Nano wallet, wallet Ledger, Ledger Nano S wallet uh, by uh. so so yeah let's let's uh, look inside the box what we have here um, the the, the 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 box was sealed you know when it arrived so we, we're gonna take off the plastic and uh look what's what kind of components is inside it So yeah, when you open, you will see uh, uh, like a USB key. Uh, on one side, it's written Ledger, and uh, in the other is wires in numeris. I think it's something in Latinium, something mean with the security. Not 100% sure. And um, then you open it. Um, then, then there's uh, two buttons here on the on the top of the device, uh, which uh, by pressing uh, on one button you s scroll up and down, and by pressing two buttons at a time you confirm the setting. It also has a micro USB port. Center deeper. Some kind of a quick start manual. So I'll get the camera somewhere closer. Maybe you can you can see this. 
getting started manual and recovery sheet yes that's probably the um, where you will uh, write down your uh, recovery words which are will be displayed on your device when you install it make sure you copy each word below is full backup or accounts configuration so I think this is very important to fill out this this is the first thing you have to do so uh, if like your device got like uh, broken down or something you can uh, back it up your account on another device by these uh, by these uh, your backup phrases so we will go through that when we turn on so then it's coming with some kind of a neck bracelet and a micro USB uh, wire and also a, a key ring so we, we, we won't be using them today so uh, now I will show you how to set up this uh, device uh, to actually to get it working you will need to uh, connect to uh, a PC or laptop or doesn't matter uh, any computer device uh, where you will be it using from so to, to start it up you need to open it and you need to uh, connect micro USB cable to the uh, this side here there's a micro USB port on it and the the USB uh, side into the uh, computer so and it will give you some kind of welcome messages as soon as you started so it says uh, need to press both buttons to go forward and says uh, like you control with side buttons you know the setting up and right buttons change values so we skip this and then uh, you need to click the uh, right button to uh, configure a new device uh, then you need to choose pin number so click both the buttons and uh, we will choose something easy for this tutorial so the default 5 5 5 5 5 and click both buttons again and confirm the pin code both buttons both buttons both 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 okay so we have made a, a, a pin code so next step third step they are asking for a write down your recovery phrase so we hit both both the buttons and uh, you will need now to write down all all of the recovery words in the sheet I was showing you in the start which comes with uh, where you need to write down the recovery phrases so this is very important and um, there is totally uh, 24 uh, recovery phrases so when have you written down that just click both of these buttons again to um, confirm your recovery phrase so yes when you have confirmed your uh, recovery phrase it will uh, take you out to um, options and uh, to choose uh, what wallet you want to use the first thing uh, what you need to go is and go to uh, uh, ledgerwallet.com uh, website and uh, download the wallet you want to use for example for this video we will be using ethereum wallet so you just need to download the application for your google chrome browser and install it i won't be doing this again because i have already uh, done this and i have this ethereum application um uh, loaded on the google chrome browser so let's click and open it and it will ask you uh, to uh, begin to connect unlock your le ledger uh, wallet you need to uh, turn on the, the this device and so we will choose an ethereum wallet okay so yeah 
you can see that it has uh, recognized uh, this device and we open Ethereum wallet you can see I have done some test transactions on it and it's a, a basic wallet and there's uh, all the simple uh, uh, tools you need to uh, send and receive funds and uh, for test purposes uh, we will be um, we will send some ethereum from uh, uh, my uh, smartphone uh, uh, Jack's wallet I want to just show you the uh, power of of the uh, blockchains and how fast the transactions go and how simple is uh, them to do it so let's choose ethereum wallet now um, receive ether so click on the uh, uh, desktop wallet so I will scan this receiver address okay we put in the amount we want to send 50 50 euro 50 euro for test purposes okay send okay confirm and yes the you can see the transaction uh, left the account and we will just double check if we have received this ethereum on our desktop wallet you can see the transaction has arrived on our ethereum wallet so we will do the same and trans transfer it back to our uh, smartphone so you can see let's take the address where it was sent from copy and then uh, send funds and uh, maximum balance you want to send and to this address this is my smartphone uh, wallet address so yes send okay transaction confirmed and let's see it how it arrives on our smartphone wallet jack's wallet it's a it's a good wallet oh it actually i forgot about this um uh, when you want to send a uh, transaction it will ask you on your device to confirm the transaction you want to send so you don't need to like uh insert any passwords or anything because all the private keys is loaded into this uh, hardware wallet device so you just click confirm and uh, you can see that that uh, transaction now is confirmed and I will show you that it also also will arrive on the uh, my smartphone wallet jacks wallet So you can see the transaction left the account. You can check this transaction on Etherscan. It says that this is going uh, to uh, my uh, wallet address. I'm just wondering, it's still pending.
Okay, I can see that the transaction came back into my uh, wallet. I have here at 4.25, I have uh, received back 0 0.25 Ethereum, which is uh, worth 50 Euro. So yes, this is how you use uh, and set up Ledger Nano S hardware wallet, which is a uh, quite a safe option to keep your cryptocurrency uh, cryptocurrency coins on uh, this device and if some something doesn't even ha happen like uh, with the device it gets broke or something you can just get a new device and use your uh, recovery wards to uh, recover your account um, and uh, you'll be uh, you, you won't lose your uh, coins if like the device gets broken but the most important thing is remember to uh, write down your uh, 24 uh, recovery awards phrases and uh, keep them somewhere safe because this is the only thing which will uh, make your device to recover so yeah and as you see in the transactions uh, they uh, go in matter of seconds some people uh, don't understand in how uh, great times we are living and uh, the uh, power of the blockchains because you can do the uh, transactions to anywhere anytime and absolutely like it doesn't matter if it's sunday or uh, sunday night or monday or anything with no uh, third parties involved peer-to-peer -peer network so that's the power of the blockchain so if you like this video and if you got value after this you can share this video you can uh, hit like the button you can also subscribe uh, my channel if you haven't done this already so and uh, there will be a, a lot more new stuff coming we have um, ordered some uh, new uh, mining hardware because uh, recently there is out a lot of new mining hardware a uh, few motherboards for 8 GPU support 13 GPU support 12 GPU support so uh, we will be uh, reviewing these products some, somewhere sometime soon. Okay, and thanks for watching guys and see you again.